Rinig po ba ako, Kuya? Yes, yes. Clear. Okay. Pakilid sa prayer. Sige po. Tayo po ay uh, kumikit at manalangan. Ama namin Diyos, para sa lahat, ang po ay muli nagpupura ay papasalamat Lord sa araw na may nagbinigay sa amin. Salamat po sa pagkakataon nito. Uh, kami ay nakawag uh, youth fellowship muli. Uh, salamat po sa pagbibigay sa bawat isa ng kanilang oras at uh, para makaling ng inyong salita ng Lord. Gawain niyo po ang aming uh, tagapagturo na si Brother Alexis. Uh, uh, gawain niyo po siya. Bigyan niyo siya ng uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding para ma-deliver ang inyong salita ng maayos at aming itong isabuhay isip sa aming pangaraw-araw na pumumuhi o Lord. Uh, at uh, sa mga hindi namin kasama ngayon Uh, oras nito, uh, na makasali uh, po sila via online sa, sa mga tahanan next uh, uh, fellowship at uh, kami ay makapag-fellowship uh, ang um, sama-sama online. Patuwarin niyo po kami sa aming uh, mga kasalanan sa mga aming mga pagkukulang sa inyo at uh, po ipatuloy na po po rin papasalamat sa mga blessings at mga provisions na pati may ibigay sa amin. Tulang po sa Panginoon Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Harold. So, Again, uh, let's post this. Pakisabi nyo sa, pakisabi pag may mga problem regarding my problem. Okay? So, kita nyo yung four ages in Revelation. Thumbs up. Okay. Thank you. So, we stopped last time here so we will not be reviewing so much or we will not be reviewing the things that we have uh, discussed last uh, last time okay we will proceed immediately to our next uh, lesson so welcome and thank you again for your presence mga young people ng mighty fortress uh, Baptist Church, Susinita, so ng inyong devotion leader, ano? Naka, ano naman, nakakatuwa. At uh, kayo ay nag, natututo na mag lead ng devotion. So, again, welcome to all of you. So, if you miss some lessons, I am uploading it sa aking YouTube channel and then uh, I'm just uh, uh, kinakapi ko na lang dun sa group ninyo, no? So, if you miss a uh, lesson, Just feel free to visit that. No? Feel free to visit yung lecture natin. Lecture number two. Yung lecture number one, try ko pang i-upload. No? But uh, let's see. Kasi parang yun yung trial ano natin. No? But last time, uh, last time we have uh, discussed and stop here. I have shown you itong... Uh, nasa inyong screen, nasa ating screen, ano, yung four ages and revelation. These are the order of uh, scatology. No? Or yung order ng revelation. So, the church age, this is the present age. Wala siyang specific period of time. Kaya question mark yung uh, year dyan, kung ilang years. So, ngayon ay presently nasa church age tayo. Ang daming church na Uh, lumalagan up even at this moment at uh, this moment this very moment and then the chapter 4 verse 19 ng revelation chapter 4 to chapter 19 is what we call the tribulation age napakatagal ng description diyan no sa tribulation period but sabi nga ayan ay seven years after the church will be caught up with Christ so tribulation period will come That will last for seven years. Then another year, which is called 1,000 years or the millennium or the kingdom age uh, on chapter 20 ng Revelation. And then chapter 21 to 22, the eternal age or the endless. Wala nang katapusan. So yan ang ating mga pag-aaralan in the book of Revelation. We don't know, but hopefully we can finish it. So, but by the grace of God, sa inyo, sa pacing ko sa inyo, mas siguro mas mabilis kaysa sa pacing ko dito sa uh, sa Abu Dhabi, no? So I will try to do that. 
So let's continue our lesson. So last time we uh, discussed chapter 1 to chapter chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. So right now we are going to discuss chapter 2, uh, chapter 1 verses 4 to verses 8. Okay? So now uh, let's let's read again if you have your bibles i hope you have your bibles with you and maybe i will just request someone to read to read this uh who what, chapter 1 verses 4 to 8 siguro i request ko na lang si uh ko, sino ba si Isley? ah wala si Isley dito sa kanyang ano ang dalawa si Hanika na lang, re-request ko. Basahin ang Revelation chapter 1 verses 4 to 8. O siguro tig, ano kayo? 4, 5, 6. Kasi magkatabi kayo. 7, then 4, 5, 6, then 7 and 8. Si... Okay. Revelation 1 verse 4. Gen to the seven churches which are in Asia. Praise be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Verse 5, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, and to him that love us, and wash us from our sins in his own blood, and had made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall reign because of him. Even so, Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Uh, verse 9, okay I, na. John, okay na. Verse also eight. am your brother stop on verse and companion. Eight. Okay, let's stop on verse 8. So, thank you. Thank you sa inyong dalawa. Nasaan si Isley? At si Joy? Wala pa rin? <laughs> Nasa CBO po. Ah, okay. So, kamusta nyo na lang ako sa kanila? Ay, o nga pala. pala. So, tayo ay magko-continue. Salamat sa inyong pagbabasa. So, we'll... Hello? Hello po. Okay, hindi na po po, Tol. Hindi parang, naman po. Parang nawala kayong lahat eh. So, kala ko nagka-problem sa internet. <laughs> let's move. Let's proceed. So, we will continue from chapter 1 verses 4 to verse 8. So, the salutation ng letter na ito or ng... The book of Revelation. Now, the recipients of Revelation, kung kanino in-address ang Revelation, it's the recipient of this were the seven churches in Asia. Okay? In Asia or Asia Minor. Okay? So again, the present day uh, Asia Minor is the country of Turkey. So, ayan yung bansang Turkey ngayon. Before, it was Asia Minor. And I know that uh, you have learned that in your history, di ba? Pinag-aralan nyo yan. So again, when we say Asia or Asia Minor, we are talking about the modern day Turkey. So ito yung mga nangyari before sa seven churches especially na i-discuss natin sa mga susunod na Friday. So the, the recipients were the of Revelation were the seven churches. And John's greeting of grace and peace Tingnan nyo yung greeting ni John. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Ang daming uh, dapat i-define dyan. Now, these two words, the word grace and the word peace, captures the richness of the Christian faith. Kung gaano kayaman ang 
uh, Christian faith, ang ating pananampalataya, it's full, no? it's rich. If we are in Christ, we are rich. Sabihin nga nila, Kuya Alexis, or Brother Alexis, why am I not rich? Maybe, yes, you're not rich. But materially, that is spiritually, we are. And it's sad to say, we, are, we tend to focus only on the physical aspect or realm ng ating buhay, di ba? Parang mas nakafocus tayo sa uh, ating mga financial condition. But we are, as believers, we are very rich in spiritual. And that is the most important thing, ang spiritual na uh, bagay, you know? So now, grace is God's attitude toward believers. And you know that the definition of grace is unmerited favor. Binigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng something na hindi natin deserve. Okay? That is the meaning of grace. We receive something that we do not deserve. So it's the attitude of God towards us bilang mga mananampalataya. And I, I hope and I, I trust and my desire and prayer is that all of you now have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Yan ang aking panalangin at uh, dalangin at, at desire na kayong mga young people dahil kayo ay hindi dahil kayo ay lumaki sa church ay ibig sabihin you are already a Christian no and I know you know that it doesn't mean you grow up in a church uh, kayo ay mga mananampalataya na or believers in Christ no you have come to the point of your life that you have received him as your lord and personal savior so he is your master you have realized how sinful you are. Siguro, you, you, you remember that uh, we, you have repented of your sins, di ba? And continuously repenting, patuloy kayong nagsisisi, patuloy tayong nagsisisi sa ating mga kasalanan, di ba? Hindi lang ang repentance ay isang beses lamang ginagawa. Ito ay patuloy na uh, ginagawa natin every time we pray, hindi lang natin yan pinapanalangin na parang Patawarin niyo po ako sa aking kasalanan. That's it. No, we, we are serious that our sin, we are sinful. Every day we sin. So, but the grace of God covers that through Christ and His death. So, coupled with His loving gifts which will never change. Hindi magbabago yung biyaya ng Diyos at yung kanyang mga regalo sa atin, mga spiritual. At bonus na nga lang yung mga material blessings na meron tayo. So peace refers to our relationship with God which includes both peace made with God at salvation and our ongoing relationship with Him. Naalala nyo yung uh, Romans chapter 5. Alam na alam nyo tong kantang to. So kahit hindi nyo na ako sabay-bayan, kahit hindi nyo nabuksan, no? pakinggan nyo na lang. At you are very familiar, sabi sa chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore being justified by faith, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through whom? Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? At sabi pa doon, uh, But God commended His love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath. So verse 5, yung chorus, Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Diba? Napakaganda. That is the thing that we have. We have the grace and the peace of God and peace with God. Okay? I have heard yung last time no kay Nathan yung peace that passeth all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus so hindi lang yun ang meron tayo meron tayong peace with God why because we are enemies of God before tayo ay kaaway ng Diyos if you are not in Christ you are not a friend of Christ you are an enemy but because of his grace because uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have an ongoing relationship. Nakita nyo, meron tayong ongoing relationship sa Creator because of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that relationship, we can enjoy and sometimes we fail to enjoy. Tayo ay, sometimes hindi natin ma-enjoy yung fellowship natin sa Panginoon because we walk, because as we walk, we fail to walk in obedience to God. So sometimes parang ano tayo, uh, hindi masaya na 
Naglilingkod tayo sa Panginoon. Because why? Because we live in sin. We are living in sin. Mumuhay tayo sa kasalanan. Therefore, ito ang attitude ng isang mananampalatay. If you are truly in Christ, you will not be happy in sin. Hindi ka magiging masaya sa kasalanan. You always hate it when you fail to walk in obedience to God. But you see how rich we are? Anytime we can come at the, to the cross, we can come to Christ anytime when we fail. But I hope that our uh, desire is really to obey God in what, in uh, whenever, wherever, anumang mga sitwasyon natin sa buhay, you know, wiglang mga mananampalataya. So that's how rich we are. Grace and peace. And also, sinabi dito ni Sinabi dito sa letter or sa revelation, grace and peace from Him which is and which was to come. The eternal God, the source of all grace and peace, is introduced as the one who is, kita nyo dyan, no? Who is or which is, which was, and which is to come. Nakita nyo yung uh, parang past, merong uh, present, and then merong future. Okay? So, yung tenses of the verb, di ba? Merong present tense, uh, past tense, merong future tense. Okay. So, ang ating Panginoon is the one, He introduced Himself as the one who is, as the one who was, and who is to come. The concept of past, present, and future corresponds to the threefold chronological division of the book itself. This is what we believe, that itong Uh, revelation is divided into a chronological order. Meaning to say, sunod-sunod itong mga pangyayari. The, pa the present uh, and the future and also it has the past. No? So on chapter uh, 1 verse 19, sabi dito, Write these things which thou hast seen. Sabi ng Panginoon kay John, isulat mo yung mga bagay na nakikita mo. And the things which are, the things that will happen, are happening right now. Okay? The things that you have seen, the things that are happening, and the things that will come after. Okay? Sabi sa chapter 1 verse 19. And it is used to help us to grasp the timeless of the Godhead. So this phrase also occurs in the, or with variations. Ito yung mga, matatagpuan nyo yan sa Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Binasa natin kanina. Tingnan natin yung chapter 4, verse 8. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes, and they rest, and they rest day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, which is, and is to come. Chapter 11, verse 17. Tingnan natin sa chapter 11, verse 17. Saying, We give thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art, which was, and are to come. Because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. Chapter 16, verse 5. Chapter 16, verse 5. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. You see? That Jesus Christ is the beginning. He exists before the beginning. He created everything. So, He is not bounded by time. So, this is the timeless of the Godhead. And then, joining the Father in salutation, you can see, sa salutation dito, sa chapter 3, verse, a uh, chapter 1, still chapter 1, sa chapter 1 tayo, and which is to come, and from, The seven spirits which are before his throne. So he was joining the Father in salutation and from the spirits which are before his throne. Now, merong sinabi ditong seven spirits before his throne. Now, sino yun? Kaya Alexis, maybe yeah, you are thinking, sino ba yung tinutukoy na seven spirits? Now, merong mga considerations that we need to look at. Some consider this, that this is an allusion from Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 to 
Buksan niyo yung inyong mga Bible sa Isaiah chapter 11 verses 2 to 3. Some believe that this is the sevenfold spirit. Okay, some chapter uh, Isaiah, some Isaiah chapter 11 verses 2 to three, and let me request uh, Nathan please to read eleven verse two to three. Isaiah chapter eleven verse two to three, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and okay. shall make him. Ah, yeah. Okay. Continue, continue. Okay. And shall make him quick, of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Okay, thank you. So this is the prophecy uh, with regard to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so may sinabi ditong uh, the spirit of, the first one is the spirit of the Lord. That's the one. It's having sevenfold spirit. First is spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him who's that the lord jesus christ and then the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge the spirit and of the spirit of the fear of the lord okay so ito yung uh, counsel and counsel and might and then the spirit of the fear of the lord ito yung sinatawag na sevenfold spirit ito yung kabuuan no ng Panginoon. So, yun yung isa sa considerations when, when it comes to chapter uh, 1 verse 4. Ito yung tinatawag na sevenfold spirit. Others believe these were the seven angels in places of high privilege before the throne of God. Buksan natin yung Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. Okay. Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. Please read uh, Lemuel. Please read Revelation chapter 3 verse 1 Revelation chapter 3 verse 1 Revelation chapter 3 verse 1 And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write These things said he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars I know thy works that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead May this say that it pertains to the angel chapter uh, 4 verse 5 let me request Uh, Naomi, please. Chapter 4, verse 5. <clears throat> Revelations chapter 4, verse 5. And out, of the, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne of God, which are the seven spirits of God. Okay. Next. Uh, uh, sorry, 5 to 6, si Hannah, 5, 6, Revelation chapter 5, verse 6. Chapter 5, chapter 5, verse 6, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Yeah, pertaining to those angels. No? That's what they, those are the two considerations. No? But I stand with uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 to 3. That is the sevenfold spirit pertaining to Christ. No? The sevenfold spirit of the Godhead. So yan yung mga considerations on chapter 4. So now, let's go to chapter 5 and chapter 6. Ng, ng, at verse 5 and 6. Lagi akong chapter. Verse 5 and 6 ng chapter 1. So again, we are only on chapter 1 hanggang 8. Hopefully, let's try to continue. So now, this greeting also comes from Jesus Christ. According to chapter 5. And from Jesus Christ. It's not just from John. The greeting was not just from John to the seven churches. Not only from John, but also from Jesus Christ. And sabi nga dito, And Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that love us and wash us from our sins in his own blood, 
and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father to him, be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So this greeting comes from Jesus Christ in his character as the faithful witness. He is the faithful witness. At ginamit niya rin yan sa chapter 3 verse 14. Uh, let me request who si Hana. Hana, chapter 3 verse 14. Ginamit niya sa greeting niya sa church ng Laodicea. Chapter 3, verse 14 of Revelation. Chapter 3, verse 14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, This thing saith the, man, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Okay, so yung title na yan ay nanggaling sa chapter 1, verse, verse 5. Sabi ng Panginoon dito, from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, referring to His resurrection as the ruler of the kings of the earth. Diba? The Lord Jesus Christ rose again the third day. As a faithful witness, Jesus filled the role of a prophet. In contrast to those who had restored to life only to die again, yung mga, uh, sige nga, mag tayo, recitation. Magbigay kayo ng mga Bible character na oh, they were dead and rose again. Sige. Mag-unmute kayo. Mag-unmute kayo, ha? Isa-isa. Lazarus. Lazarus. Oh, sino pa? Jesus Christ. Yung... Bukod sa kanya, kasi we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. So where we will compare him. I will compare Jesus Christ to those. Oh, sige, Lazarus. Sino pa? Si Lazarus. Orcas. Okay? Yung mga Orcas. skeletons. Yung mga skeletons dun sa dream ni El Ezekiel. Yung, sino, sino, sino yung sino daughter. Sino? Daughter ni... Si Dorcas. At ah, lang, wait lang. Si Lemuel, sabi niya, yung sa Ezekiel, yung mga dry bones na nabuhay. Okay? But it, ah, that's good, but it's another thing. Sino pa? The si daughter Dorcas. of Jairus. Jairus' daughter. Si Dorcas? Dorcas, di ba? Yung ano? What? <laughs> Did Dorcas rose Wait, from the dead? Ano pala? Wait, wait. <laughs> Dorcas, tuloy. Ano? Tabit ba? Oh, sa sa ang sinabi nyo na, uh, Lazarus, uh, Jairus' daughter, sa Old Testament, wala kayong maisip? Yung, yung anak nung widow. Ay, ang galing. Si Lemuel ba yun? Yeah, the, the widow son. Binuhay ni no? Ni? Elijah. 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 Very good. Okay. So. Ay, binuhay din siya, ano, diba? <laughs> Eh, sino yung ano? Sino yung natutulog habang nagpipreach si Paul? Namatay yun, di ba? Yun, Ticos. O, oh, kaya wag kayo matutulog, <laughs> kaya wag kayo matutulog habang nagpipreach. Ha? Kasi baka mahulog kayo sa upuan. <laughs> Nakalimutan nyo na. Di ba? He, he died. Si Ticos. Yes, Ticos died. But Apostle Paul, hindi siya in ano, no? Tulog-tulog ka kasi ayaan nyo yan mamatay. Hindi ganun, no? Kasi, kasi naman, uh, understandable kasi Paul was preaching for the whole day. The whole day. Nagpe-preach si Dorcas, ah, si Dorcas, si uh, Paul ng whole day. Kaya, nakatulog si uh, Eutychus from the second floor, nahulog siya pag. And then Paul, uh, of course, made a miracle at nabuhay siya muli. Pero those compared to Jesus Christ, tandaan nyo, they died again. After they were, uh, they rose up from the dead. Ang popular na nating alam is si uh, Lazarus. After that, they died again. And come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sige, CJ, sino yan? Maybe a unit. Si, 
Si Tabitha, which which by interpretation is called Dorcas. And then what happened? She, ano, pin, pinaano siya ni Peter, binuhay siya ni Peter. Uh, what, what verse? Acts chapter 9, 36 to 41. Okay, yes. Okay, very good, CJ. No, apaka ano ng memory, apaka galeng ano. So ang familiar lang ako si kay Dorcas. He was the first ano European convert. Okay, so very good. And then, meron pa? May naalala pa kayo? Oh, now we will compare it to the Lord Jesus Christ. They died, but after that, they rose again. They did not. They died again. No, they rose and then they died again. In contrast to the Lord Jesus Christ, who had restored to life, only to die again. Christ is the first to receive a resurrection body, which is immortal. When Jesus Christ rose again, he received an immortal body. Si Lazarus, yes, nabuhay siya kaya nagalit nagalit yung mga Pharisees. But then again, namatay ulit siya. But when the Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he had the Immortal body, the glorified body, and then after he rose again, nagpakita siya sa kanyang mga disciples, and never did he die. No, he lived at the right hand of the throne of his father. Okay, so yan ang yan ang kaibahan, no, ng panginoong Jesus. He is immortal. So let's read. Nagstapa ko kanina kay Naomi. Uh, by the way, let's read first John eighteen thirty seven. Si Krisha, John eighteen thirty seven. John chapter eighteen verse thirty seven. John chapter eighteen thirty seven. Yes. And therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Okay. So he is the faithful uh, witness. And disclaiming that, kiniklaim ng Panginoong Isus yan. Sa Acts 26 verse 23, uh, Si Aika, nagbasa na ba? Okay, Aika, please, please. Read Acts 26, verse 23. Acts 26, verse 33. Acts 26. Ay, rinig ko. Acts 26, verses 23. That Christ should suffer and that He should be the first that should rise from the dead and should shew light unto the people and to the Gentiles. Okay, so that Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. No. Pag sinabing first John, hindi ibig sabihin, hindi naman siya yung unang namatay at nabuhay, yung tinatawag dyan na preeminence, no? siya ang uh, RK. Okay. So mga pag-aaralan pa natin yan sa mga susunod na pag-aaral natin. Kasi he introduced himself to one of the church sa Revelation at mas pag-aaralan pa natin yan in detail. Okay? So Jesus Christ is the firstborn of creation. He was before all creation in time. So Christ is first also in resurrection as in Colossians chapter 1 verse 15. Okay? Christ is the first so others are to follow Christ in his resurrection. So in Revelation chapter 20, we read that Christ and all the righteous dead are included in the first resurrection. In Revelation chapter 20, verse 5 to 6, the wicked dead are raised last after the millennium. So those things we will study in details once we go there, okay? 
But uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is telling in this letter, pinapakilala niya or he is introducing himself sa letter na ito sa seven churches and not just to the seven churches, makababasa niyo dito yung salita na he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear. By the way, doon sa number na seven, you can find, once you read the book of Revelation, you can find a lot of sevens. Okay? So it pertains to perfection. Kaya nga si Satan always wants to be like God but he always falls short. He always had the number six. Okay? Kaya nga sabi sa Revelation din, he had the number of six, six, six. He wants to be God but he always fall short of it. Okay, so marami kayong makikita. If you are reading the book of Revelation, siguro hanapin nyo rin yung lahat ng word na seven. Okay? So if you just want to add that to your study. Hindi lang yung mga word na seven. May mga hidden sevens pa dyan. But we will not be dealing with that. Okay? So, next. Jesus' witness and His resurrection are now past. Okay? Nangyari na yon, Nangyari na. It happened 2,000 years ago that Christ died and rose again. So His role as the ruler of all the earth, kings and kingdoms, is still future. Jesus Christ in the future will reign on the earth. Okay? So yun yung tinatawag na millennial reign of Christ here on earth. Magahari siya dito. Ang kaya nang sinasabi ng iba, nagahari naman na si Jesus Christ in the hearts of uh, the believers. No, sabi ang description, He will reign with the rod of iron. No? And He's the one leading all the nations. And we are kings and priests. Babanggit din dyan, no? So it still future to be achieved after his victory over the beast and the false prophet in Revelation chapter 19. Pag-aaralan din natin yan. And then fulfilling Isaiah, na, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 and many other verses. Psalm 72 verse 11 and Zechariah 14 19. We will be dealing with those things sa mga susunod. No? Kaya hindi natin masyadong tatagalan yung part na ito. The special emphasis here is what Jesus has already accomplished for believers because he loves us and keep on loving us has freed us from our sins once for all by his own blood ito yung sinasabing spiritual reign of Christ in the hearts of believers but yung reign niya sa millennium ito ay physical reign magre-reign magahari ang Panginoong Jesus so now let's Continue, just as Christ has the right to rule, though he has not yet taken his throne as king, so believers have been made both a kingdom and a priesthood. Balikan lang natin yung Revelation chapter 1. Sabi dito, and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten, the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests. And to God and His Father, to Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Also in Revelation chapter 5 verse 10. So let me request, uh, ah, nag-iba na naman, uh, si Micah. Tapos next si Pauline, eh, nasa next na verse na babasahin. Sa Revelation chapter 5 verse 10. Revelation 5 verse 10. And has made us adore God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay, nakita nyo? We are kings and priests of Christ and we shall reign where? On the earth. First Peter chapter 2. Ay, oh, tama si Pauline. First Peter. Ah, Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 muna. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Colossians Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of His mm -hmm. dear Son. Okay, thank you. Chaks, uh, nagbasa ka na ba? Okay, sige, 1 Peter 2.9. First Peter 2 verse 9 But ye are a chosen generation a royal, royal priesthood 
unholy nation, a peculiar people that ye should shew for the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Okay. Napakaganda nung talatang yan, ano? 1 Peter chapter 2. Verse 9, ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Therefore, we don't need to go to the priest. Because why? Priests are also sinful men. Tapos na yon sa uh, Judaism. So all we need to do, Yung, ano ko? we need to go to Christ right away. Because we are considered as, we are the priesthood of the believers. So Christ is now ruling in our hearts, in the hearts of the believers. And the only proper response to such a glorious reality is to offer a doxology of praise. So therefore, because Christ saved us, He made us priests and kings. So therefore, sabi sa Revelation chapter 1, uh, verse 6, And hath made us priests and kings unto God and His Father, to Him be glory, dominion, and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The word Amen, we will be Dealing with that as well. The only proper response to such a glorious reality is to offer a doxology of praise to God. As John does at the end of verse 6, sealing it with Amen. So napakaganda ng ginawa sa atin, mga young people ng Panginoon. If you will just think of how Christ died on the cross for us and for our sins, and we will be reigning and ruling with Him someday in His kingdom, we can only say Amen. And sing for Him. That's the reason why every time we sing hymns, we should give glory and honor and we should sing it from our hearts. No? Yung, alibawa, to God be the glory. Uh, the Lord bless you and keep you. All the things that uh, He has done for us. So what can we render unto Him? We can render Him songs, the fruit of our lips. No? Thanks and giving thanks to our God. So chapter 1 verse 7. Sabi sa verse 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. I, uh, let's stop there. So Dan's doxology is followed by an equally glorious announcement. Meron siyang announcement. What is that? The second coming of Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ will come again. He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Kaya Alexis, paano pag bulag? No? Siguro, tanong nyo, Kaya Alexis, paano siya makikita ng mga nabuhay sa lupa na bulag? Don't worry, God will provide. Okay? God will provide for them an eye to see him. Kaya wag yung problemahin yun. Sabi nga nila, Sabi sa impyerno, sa description ng hell, diba, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Mga yung ipin, nagtatangis sa impyerno. Kuya, paano pag walang ipin nung napunta sa impyerno? Don't worry, God will provide a teeth. No? Hindi problema ng Diyos yan. So, He will see to it that every eye will see Him. Wow, lahat ng mata, makikita siya. No? Every eye will see Him and they also which pierce Him, pati yung Pumatay sa kanya. He will see that indeed Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Not just pertaining to the person na nag sa kanya. Di ba? Merong nag uh, sa Panginoon on, nung habang siya ay nasa cross. The use of present tense depicts a future act that is so certain to be fulfilled it can be spoken of as already happening. Di ba? Sabi dito, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. As if it happens already. No? Though present uh, form ang ginamit doon, nangyari na. Kasi itong mga bagay na ito ay mangyayari. In the, though in the future, dahil sa kalendar ng Panginoon, everything is happening at the same time, nangyari na. No? At ito'y mangyayari, asahan natin ito ng mga young people. Christ was received by a cloud in His ascension. Naalala nyo, balikan natin yung Acts chapter 1 verse 9. Let me request, Harold, are you done? Nakapagbasa ka na ba? Di, nag-pray pa lang. Diba? O, sige, please read Acts chapter 1 verse 9. Tingnan nyo kung paano uh, nag-ascend ang Panginoon. No? After he was... Acts. 
Up, Acts chapter, chapter 1 verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay. The Lord Jesus Christ, after saying, sa verse 8, sabi niya, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, after he said those things, he was taken up on a cloud, received him out of their sight. Bumalik na ang Panginoon sa kanyang, on the right hand of the throne of the Father. Okay. Next, so he will come again in the cloud of heaven. Gab, Matthew 24, verse 30. Matthew 24, verse 30. Uh, hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Sinig ka na. <laughs> Sige, 24, verse 30. Okay, nakita nyo? Kung paano dumating ang Panginoong Jesus, how humble was His coming, ipinanganak siya sa sabsaban, but His return will be majestic, no? Glorious, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Kaya wag kayo, wag tayo mga mananang palataya mabuhay na parang wala ng tayo ng pag-asa, because we have a lively hope. We have a hope if we have God on our side, if we have Jesus on our side, we have a great hope. Matthew 26, verse 64. Lem, please. Matthew 26, verse 34. Matthew 26, verse 24. The Son of Man goeth at it, as it is written of him. 64. But woe unto that man. 64. Ah, 64. Yes. Okay. Jesus says unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Yes, coming in the clouds of heaven. Mark chapter 13, verse 26. Daniel Velasco, please. Uh, Mark 13:26. Narinig niyo po ako ya? Yes. Mark chapter 13 verse 27, ay uh, 26. Uh, 26 and then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Yes, okay, with great power and glory. 14 verse 62. Jarel makapagbasa kayo. Mark 14:62 Sama natin sila brother Jarel no but if they cannot sige skip muna natin uh, si Eunice please read Mark 14 verse 62 Eunice, are you there? Mark 14, verse 62. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Please read Mark 14, verse 62. Okay, parang nawala yata. Sige, si Rachel, tapos ka na ba? Magbasa. Okay, Rachel, please. 14.62 ng Mark. Mark 14.62 And Jesus said, 
I am. And you shall see the Son sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of okay. heaven. Okay, coming in the clouds of heaven. Paulit-ulit na sinasabi. Luke 21 verse 27. Uh, let me request... Hmm. Sino pa bang hindi nagbabasa? Parang lahat na, no? So, sige, balik na tayo. Balik tayo kay uh, Nathan. Sige po. Ano Luke 21-27. Luke 21-27. Twenty-one, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Okay, you see that? Jesus Christ will come in the cloud with power and great glory. Ito ay iba sa kanyang pagsilang. No? Kung siya ay pinanganak sa sabsaban, a very humble, no? yung kanyang pagdating, and ang kanyang pababalik will be glorious. No? So yan ay ating aasahan. There is no indication that the world as a whole will see Christ at the time of the rapture of Christ. In 1 Thessalonians 4:16 to 18 where believers will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. But when Jesus comes back to establish His kingdom, all will see Him, including both those who pierce Him and all the peoples of the earth. Okay? So, tinatawag na rapture, I know that uh, uh, you are familiar with that word. Babasahin ko sa inyo yung 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. Sabi dito, For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven, from heaven, it will descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive, and I expect ni po lagi yung pagdadating ng Panginoon, buhay pa siya. He was expectant of it. Kaya tayo dapat laging may expectation that Jesus Christ can come anytime, just like Apostle Paul. At he was waiting for the return of Christ when... During his time, no? sabi niya, then which we who are alive, kaya huwag kayong mag-alala, sabi kasi nag-aalala sila sa mga kapatiran nilang namatay, mga ka-family members nila na namatay, paano na sila? Sabi ni Apostle Paul, don't worry. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air. Dun sa verse 16, sabi niya, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And we have dealt with this on our first lesson. Now, the term dun sa sinabi na pierce, no, the term who pierced him was not limited to those, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, di ba? it was not only limited to those who crucified Jesus Christ. According to Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, uh, the nations of Israel will look on Jesus when he returns and mourn its rejection of him as Messiah, although many Jews will be saved during the time of tribulation. Okay, Zechariah chapter 12, Verse 10. Uh, pakibasa, uh, Naomi, can you read Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10? Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. That's the second to the last book ng uh, Old Testament. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. Zechariah 12, verse 10. Zechariah ch chapter 12, verse 10. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me 
whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Okay, you see, right now, the, the Jews as a nation don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi sila naniniwala na ang Panginoong Jesus, 2,000 years ago, when he... Uh, Kaya nawala na yung mic. Nawala yung mic. Okay na. Okay na? Okay, hello. Ayan, okay na? Okay. So the Jews rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya nga it resulted to killing him because he is claiming himself to be the Messiah. Because until now, hanggang ngayon, mga young people, ang mga Hudyo ay nag-aantay sa isang uh, tao na mag sa kanila. So until now, they are waiting for the coming Messiah. They fail to see that the one who came was the Lord Jesus Christ himself. But they were reject he rejected uh, Jesus Christ. They direct rejected Jesus Christ even until now. Someday, when the Lord Jesus Christ return in the clouds to get His people, they will see, oh, nakita nila, indeed, Jesus Christ was the one who came and He is the, indeed the Messiah. So the, the wailing of the Gentile nations will at, in large part be not a cry of repentance but one of the terror of judgment. To this, John adds, even so, amen, amen, this is a powerful certainty of Christ's coming and the events surrounding it. So kung titignan natin yung Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Pupunta na tayo ngayon. God now speaks, nag-conclude na naman siya sa amen nung chapter, chapter 1, verse 7. Now sa verse 8, our concluding lesson for the day. I am the Alpha and Omega. Very very familiar sa inyo yan, ano? yung word na yan. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. The Alpha and the Omega, Alpha is the first letter in the Greek alphabet. Okay? And the last letter is Omega. So meaning that Jesus Christ is telling that I am the first and I am the last. Hindi sinabing ako yung first na nilikha. No? Meaning to say, He is the one who created everything. He is the first cause okay, ng lahat ng bagay. Sabi nga, He is the uncaused cause. The description of the Father Given in verse 4 is then repeated here, concluding with the title, The Almighty, a word that occurs nine times in Revelation. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Maybe someday you will encounter your, a friend who do not believe that Jesus Christ is God. Maraming ganyang mga religion. They do not believe that Jesus Christ is God. Therefore, bring them in the book of Revelation because in the book of Revelation, Jesus Christ revealed him, his, glorious, uh, his glorious name and He reveals Himself, His entirety, being the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. At ang nagsasabi lang noon ay ang God the Father. Kasi sabi nila, Jesus Christ is just a man Okay, he is a created being, he is a good teacher, but he was not God. But if you go to the book of Revelation by just saying that he is the Alpha and the Omega, he is claiming himself to be God. Therefore, Jesus Christ is God. He is the Almighty. And it occurs nine times in the book of Revelation. It is probable that verse 8 applies to Christ even as verse 4 does to God the Father since Christ is the eternal second person of the Godhead, we, de we believe in the triune God, di ba? The God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. 
In Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 to 13, let me, read, let me just read it for you. Revelation chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Sinabi niya na naman sa verse 13, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So now, ano yung mga sinabi dito sa verse uh, chapter 1, verses 1 to verse 8. The first thing that we have learned is first, the source of revelation. Who is the source? You can answer now. You can unmute your, your, your ano, you can unmute now and then I will be asking some questions. So, sino yung source ng revelation? Who can answer? Who is the source? Hmm? Jesus. Yes, Jesus. It's what, it was not John. This is, this is not the revelation of John. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. And he revealed it, signified by the angel, and revealed it unto John. Okay? Of number two, the channel of the word and the testimony of God. Then we have learned that Jesus Christ is the central figure of revelation. He is the source of revelation. He is the channel of the word and the testimony of God. He is the faithful witness. He is the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the earth's kingdom. Kala nyo ba kung ang pinakamalakas na bansa ngayon, di ba, ang uh, U.S. But the president of the U.S. is not the one ruling in this world. Christ is the one ruling and overruling all the affairs of this life, whether it be physical or spiritual. The God of grace, we also have learned that Jesus Christ, the God of grace who loves us, has cleansed us our sins, and He has made us kingdom, made us a kingdom and a priesthood. Okay? And then the coming king whose return will be powerful and glorious. So yan yung mga bagay na natutunan natin, the things that we have learned in Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. So the central theme or the central figure of Revelation is not John. It's not even the angels. Okay? The central figure of Revelation, dito pa nga lang sa verse 1 down to verse 8, Hindi yan central din ang church. The central figure here is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have a God. The God we serve is the God who has the power, the authority. He is glorious and He will return someday, soon. And I hope that when He returns, we will be ready. So tayo ay magiging handa. That's the reason why isa na sa paghahanda natin ay eh, nag-aaral tayo. Maganda kanina yung, di ba, sa afternoon service, uh, pinag-uusapan yung mga philosophy na nag exist dito sa mundo, yung mga bagay na pinaniniwalaan ng mga tao. So it, for you, for us believers, we need to uh, dig deeper in the Word of God. Okay? So kaya, mga young people, the, the things that we are doing right now is uh, beneficial for our soul. Ayo ay magbe-benefit and you need, we need to spend. Sabi nga kanina, di ba, ni uh, uh, Brother Phil, no? Ang, he, he is, uh, he is uh, thinking na, some, na kayong mga young people will face uh, worse, worse, ano, worse situation. Mas makakaharap kayo ng worst situation sa mundong ito. Palala ng palala. This world will not get any better. Last, uh, just recently, pinapa-approve sa Pilipinas, di ba, yung LGBT movement? Di ba, yung same-sex marriage? Buti, medyo tayong, ang bansa natin ay medyo conservative pa, kaya hindi yan na Pero sa US, sa Canada, Europe, all over the globe, they allow it. So later on, Haharapin nyo yan, mga young people. What will you do? If you don't have the knowledge, if you have not developed the Christian worldview or philosophy, you will be easily swayed. Kayo ay susunod sa agos ng mundong ito. Alam ko marami na kayong mga kabataan na kasabayan ninyo, maybe. 
na minsan na dati sabi niyo kasama namin yan dati sa church but ngayon wala na sila nagsway na sila you know what will make us uh, what will make us strong what will make us strong is the word of god we need to study the word of god we need to dig deeper on the word of god we need to learn we need to relearn the word of god we need to love the word of god we need to read we need to apply the word of god in our hearts hindi lang tayo uh, basta basta uh, mag maniniwala sa mga pananaw ng mundong ito di ba sinabi kanina binanggit din yung uh, relativism okay ano ba yung relativism the truth is relative walang absolute truth so therefore sa kanila ang bible ang sinasabi ng re- relativism uh, what is true to you may not be true to me so therefore kung sa iyo yung bible uh, nagiging maganda sa iyo yan sa akin hindi no hindi yan ang truth okay so yun yung depende ang 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 truth sa sa iyo sa effect sa iyo no? may tinatawag din pragmatism no Maraming isem na maybe mapag-aaralan niya no sa lesson ni uh, ni Brother Phil sa mga susunod na linggo, yung mga paniniwala, mga philosophy sa mundong ito. But if we will not dig deeper in the word of God, madali kayong masisway, madali kayong mapapaniwala, no? And my prayer and my desire for all of you, mga young people, is that someday until you became old hanggang tumanda kayo minsan siguro kayo nag-iisip na rin na uh, or whatever is in your mind right now i hope that you will not give up on your faith and whatever happens uh, i know that god will preserve his people yun ang ating paniniwala he will preserve his people but he has given us no the the responsibility to be diligent no mga mga young people tayo ay dapat maging masipag kaya i am happy because you are in i hope that you will continue attending not just yung ganitong mga pag-aaral but also in in the church be active listening to the word of god listening to the uh, preaching of the word of god the teaching of the word of god and asking questions um and even uh yung inyong perspective ay lawakan ninyo no hindi lang sa inyo and hindi lang sa uh, araw na ito because some a lot of young people right now are just wasting their time they're wasting their time playing they're wasting their time doing things that are not really necessary no in their lives hindi naman mahalaga sa yung iba sinasabi hindi naman kasalanan but hindi naman din nakakatulong sa paglago no bilang isang mananampalataya so therefore you need to uh, weigh things out mga young people okay because Jesus Christ will return soon anytime he can come siya ay babalik at ano kaya ang ating ginagawa when he comes and again he will come with power and he will come with the uh, with judgment also no sa mga taong hindi nananampalataya therefore my calling no to all of you is that i hope that you have you really have a relationship with the lord jesus christ because if you have you if we are in christ we will reign with him someday in uh, his kingdom okay so yun yung ating lesson for the day and uh, i hope that uh, you have learned do you have any questions? Okay, I will stop sharing this para makita ko na kayong lahat. Okay. Yes. Okay, do you have and and if you can turn on your uh video, it's uh that's better. So wala daw mic sila brother Jarel, no? But uh, they are with us, They're listening, no? Ano din rin pala si um Si Eunice at, o oh nga, si Eunice kanina, no? At si Earl. Okay. Kamusta kayo? So, thank you for coming. May mga 
kung may mga nakamiss man ngayon, so again, I will upload this on my uh, channel. Lagyan, lagyan ko na siya ng playlist, no? Para doon na yung, ano, nakikita nyo na lang doon. If, if you are, if you want to review our lesson. So, do you have any questions, clarifications, additions, subtraction, multiplication, division, <laughs> comments? Natuto? Kasi dalawa lang naman yan. Natuto o hindi natuto? Okay. Kung kayo ay tahimik. I hope clear yung, ano, yung chap Revelation chapter 1. Verses 1 down to verse 8. So, Jesus Christ is introducing Himself here. And later on, we'll proceed uh, sa mga susunod pang verses and the seven churches. Pagtapos natin yung seven churches, yun, punta na tayo sa flow. Yung ano, order of eschatology. Pero I want us to discuss yung church. Since we are on the church age right now, maganda, marami tayong matututunan sa seven churches. Parang yung mga mukha nyo, yung edad nyo ay tumatanda, pero yung mukha nyo hindi tumatanda. No? <laughs> Kasi, like alimbawa, si Naomi, for, uh, formerly called as CJ. Diba? Ayaw nyo na daw magpatawag ng CJ. So, si Naomi, ay, sabi ay 20 na? You're already 20 years old? Yes, po. Oh. Yes, But, po. Uh, <laughs> parang wala. Parang hindi nagbabago, no? Na, Si Hana, si mga may trabaho na pala ito, si si Maika, si Pauline, o si Rachel, tapos na ng college ba? Ay, ah, magka-college. Okay. <laughs> diba? O, ta okay. O, magka-college. Pero dati, nung umalis ako dyan, parang ano ka pa lang, uh, elementary. <laughs> si Aisley. Ay, sino, sino ba? Narilito ako dito sa dalawa. Sino to? Si si Aika ito talaga totoo. Si 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 Jaja po. Jaja at saka si Han, Hana. Ano yung ano totoong pangalan ni Jaja? Joyce Ann. Joyce Ann. Si so, si Joyce saka si Hana. Okay. So yan, kayo ay may trabaho na rin? Na po. <laughs> Sa mga kapalang, no? Pero mga bata, yan, no? si Harold, tinyo, doktor na pala yan. Uh, yes. <laughs> Si 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 L, ano si LT si Lemuel no si Lemuel dati ay maliit lang ngayon ano na no binata na rin yung mga face ninyo ay same pa rin na nung mga bata kayo no si Earl si Uni si Krisha no si Teacher Krisha yes tapos si Daniel no Lasco ayan o si Gab San si Win wala si Win Okay. Okay. Pa, sabihin mo, we will pray for her. Si Aika. Si Nathan. Ayan, si Jaren. Wala nga silang video. Wala rin silang mic. But uh, I, ano, I invited him na mag-join sa ating ano, parang nag-reunion din kayo. No? If, and if you, if you know some young people before, isama nyo dito sa ano, sa fellowship natin. Okay? So, do you have any questions? I hope that you're doing well. Stay safe. No, wear your wear your face shield. <laughs> Sobra dyan. Face shield, face mask, ano pa. With helmet. <laughs> oh, mag meron kayong tanong? Naintindihan ba? <laughs> oh, ganito. Pag hindi, ganito. Okay. So I hope that it will, ano, it will help you, no? My young people, thank you for uh, being here. Parang nawala si, ah, si Chucks pala, naka-hide, no? So now we will have a our traditional photo for attendance. So if you can turn on again your video, mas maganda para makita kayong lahat. Okay? Sige. Lapit kayo sa camera, ha? Para clear yung inyong mga face. Okay. Yes. Already. I will count, ha? 
One, two, three. Okay, wait lang. Oh, smile lang kayo. Mag ganyan lang. <laughs> Hindi. Sandali. Okay na. mag na kayo. Free. Ay, mag... Mag-usap-usap kayo. Habang ini-edit ko. Mag-unmute kayo. Mag-usap-usap. Magkamustahan. Magkamustahan kayo. Parang hindi na kayo nagkikita eh. Ano ba yun? Ah, nahihiya kami. <laughs> nahihiya kayo sa isa't isa? Nahihiya kami. Ba't nahihiya kayo? O dati, nandito si Jem ha? O nandito pa yung mga picture ng mga pagmumukha nyo? Parang ano lang po kasi, hindi po kasi kami parang sanay sa setup kasi. Kaya... <laughs> <laughs> nag-a-adjust po. Ah, nag-a-adjust. Sige, mag-adjust na kayo ngayon. Go! Bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 minutes no, to adjust. Right. Yeah. Wait, Jax, huwag ka na may ha. <laughs> We're praying Tapos, for you. Hindi, huwag ka na may ha. Kami lang to. <laughs> Dali, ha? Okay naman yung mga picture, ay okay naman yung picture nyo. So ipopost, i-send ko na lang to kay Chucks. Pero wala si ano, si Nathan na wala. Pero kanina may video siya eh. Si Jarel, yan nga, wala si ng video. Okay. O, tapos na kayo magkamustahan. Ang sweet nyo naman. Kaka ano naman kayo. Wow. Nakakatuwa naman yung conversation nyo. Talaga naman. <laughs> Wala kami. Ah, okay. Pagka may question din kayo, magano kayo ha? Mag-post na lang kayo dito. Bulaga. Wala talaga. Wala talaga <laughs> nagsasalita. O kamustahin niyo naman ako. Pauline! Tomas Estas. Pauline! Pauline daw! Pa? Si Daniel. Ito po. Ah. Ah, hi Daniel. Hello! Alam ko yung pinag... Pauline! Kamusta kayong lahat? Ano ba yung haron? Try dyan. Wala na yan na yun. Sorry, parang mo sa ibang bansa eh. Oo, yung tabal yung ate. Oo. Malamig ba dyan? Kahit pa ako uwi eh. Dahil niya na last ko. O sige, ganito ah. Ang kukulit nyo. Ah, ganito. Ah... Naomi? Yes? Uh, kausapin mo? Hindi. Uh, you will pray for one another. Okay? Pero hindi kasi natin kaya may isa-isa. Kaya ipagpapart... May prayer partner. Okay? Tapos uh, silently, I will give you time to pray. Ask nyo muna yung prayer request. Mabilis lang ha. Huwag matagal. Sige. Naomi, i-ask mo si Lem. Joke lang. Hindi si Lem. Okay? Naomi? I-ask mo si Gab. Okay? Mag, mag ano kayo? Mag private chat. Sige. Go. Tapos? <laughs> ama, di, alam niyo, may private chat, di ba? <laughs> Ay, may hirap pa. Eh, meron, pa, meron, po. Lang, meron po. Meron <laughs> po. Oh, sige. Oh, si Maika, yung sa Pawig family dyan, uh, dito kayo sa Fernandez. Okay? As nyo yung prayer request nila. And then, magpalitan kayo ng prayer request. Nasaan na? Ayan, magpalitan kayo ng prayer request. Tapos si Hana, uh, dito siya kay Gab. Asan ka Gab? Okay. And then, si... Ang lamig. Si Chax. Sige, kay ni Harold. Kuya, oh. kuya, wait ako. Hindi ko na rin. Ano po yun? Uh, Gab. Kakain na tayo. 
Oh, <laughs> God and Hannah, you ask pre-request from each other. Okay? So, sa chat, kung kaya nyo yung private chat. Pero mamaya, bigyan, bigyan kayo muna yung partner nyo. Tapos kung hindi kaya, magsalitaan kayo. Si si Chucks, tsaka si Harold. Ay, sino, tama ba? Si Harold, sinabi ko, no? Si Nathan. Ako, okay, ako. Nandiyan ba si Nathan? <laughs> Nandiyan pa? O si Nainyer tsaka si Lemuel. Okay? Si Jarel wala nga silang mic. Okay? Si... Sino pa yung hindi ko na... Si Krisha tsaka si... Aika. Okay? Tapos... Nagchat-chat na, nag na ba kayo? Si Daniel, pag-pray si John. Okay. Si? Sino pa ba? Yan si John. Nasa, si John? Wala eh. Sa likod na chat na. Round. Alaala ni John. Okay. Si... Sino pang hindi? Pakitaas nga ka ba yung hindi ko pa nababanggit? Ah, si Rachel. Uh, sino pang hindi pa na ano ko? Krisha, meron ka na ba? Chris? Opo. Sino? Opo. Sino? Si sino Aika, di ba? Si Aika. O, tingnan mo. Aisley, tsaka ay, yung kay Aisley na pangalan kay Rachel. Okay? O, lahat. Meron na? O, sige. Mag-chat kayo. Pag hindi kayo sa chat, mag-usap kayo. Now. Sabay-sabay. Ayusin mo. Chucks, ayusin mo, Chucks. Nasa ko, pag-pray ko na lang kayo lahat. Paano mag-chat? Hindi ako mag-tulong. Sige, kausapin mo na lang. Ay, chat ko na lang mag-chat. Ako na tawag sa inyo si Ate Kerr. Ate. Ay, ikaw pa. Punta ka sa ano, messenger. Ha? Ha? Ay ka, ay ka pag nag-reply ako sa iyo uh, lang. Ganun ba 'yun? Sa akin ano 'yun, Ate? May Mama, Opo. Naka-private na po. Okay, sige. Hello. Kita Gab? mo. Gab. Gab. Kokolit niyo kasi ayun yung magkamustahan eh. Sino <laughs> <laughs> man? Sige, habang naglalukuhan kayo dyan, i-send ko na yung ano nyo, picture kay Chax. Then I will close in prayer. Ay, magpe-pray kayo silently and then I will close. Okay, Jarel, pwede mong... Jarel, ha? Saan ka man, Jarel, naroroon? Hindi. Pwede mo isend sa message. Group message, yung pre-request mo. Ate Chris! Ate Chris! Nare-receive ko po. Sige, sige. Nare-receive ko na po. Ah, ba naman pre-request ni Aro? Hirap mag-chat! Siyempre, doktor yan eh. Mga libro ang pinabasa niya, mahaba din eh. The anatomy of the body. Na nag-pray yung lahat ng katawan niya. Sige, three minutes more. 
Rel, uh, magsulat ka lang ng prayer request kung meron ka. Binabasa ko lang kasi yung chat ni Jarel dito sa group. Ay, sige, sa akin na lang. So, three minutes. Three minutes, then we will have silent prayer. Si Nathan, nandiyan na ba? By the way, lahat ba kayo nasa choir? Hindi, no? Hindi. Okay. May project ako sa YouTube ko, eh. Ano po yun? Choir. So, but I will send the, ano, the part, and then nakikita nyo yung mga uso ngayon, di ba? Yung sa choir. So, we uh, want to make that. Yung mga choir members and maybe those who want to join who can sing can join that. Oh, okay na. Oh, one minute, ah. Forty, ah, eight, forty, five. Then we will, ah, you, we have, we will have silent prayer, and then I will close. I will give you, ah, five minutes. Oh. Jax, ba't yung picture ko yun nandyan? <laughs> okay, let's pray. Play silently. Go to the Lord in prayers. I will be praying for Father Jaren.
Okay, I think. Yung na makita yung ibang video eh. I think, but kayong mga naka-on yung video, I think you're, all of you are done. Okay. Sige. So again, thank you for your time. And I'll just be posting this on my channel. no? So I will uh, copy, copy the link dun sa group ninyo sa youth. Sige, let's pray. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful time that you have given to each and every one of us. Lord, I thank you for these young men and women who are uh, continuously uh, having the desire to learn from your word. I pray, Lord, that you would help them as they grow deeper in their relationship with you. I, you don't, I don't know what are the things, Lord, na kanila pong pinagdaraanan ngayon, but I entrust them to you. You know their situation. You know their uh, problems, their pressures as a uh, young professional and students as well. Lord, I pray for them that you would help them and don't le let Satan and the devil uh, ruin ang mga buhay ng kabataan pong ito, Panginoon. And those uh, young people na hindi po namin ngayon nakasama, uh, I pray, Lord, na sa mga susunod ay makasama muli namin sila. Ang Banal Espiritu po ang magturo sa amin ng mga prinsipyo na galing po sa inyong salita. And as we study the Book of Revelation and Prophecy as well, we pray, Lord, that help us to learn not just the information, but may this be a transformation in our respective Christian life. So Lord, bantayan niyo po kami ang bawat isa sa amin, sa mga nangyayari sa paligid namin, and even Lord, ang mga battles namin from within, help us to overcome, and use us Lord mightily, and use us to the fullest na amin pong mga buhay, Panginoon. Especially ang mga kabataan ito, Panginoon. May they align their plans in your plans, O God. At magkaroon nga rin po sila ng uh, close relationship sa inyo at sa isa't isa, Panginoon, bilang magkakapatid at uh, bilang magkakasama po sa inyo pong uh, iglesia sa Mighty Fortress Baptist Church sa Makati. Be with them, be with uh, Pastor Arnel and his family and even Lord ang mga uh, itinalaga mo na nangunguna Panginoon sa mga uh, gawain po sa iglesia ito. So Lord again, thank you for your goodness, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your grace and great love towards each and every one of us. And all these things we ask in faith. In the most precious name of our dear Lord and loving Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so again, thank you young people. At uh, salamat sa time na binigay ninyo. And, oh, ano? <laughs> so I hope na we'll see you again, God willing, in, uh, on Sunday. So tapos na kayong magkamustahan. Todo na yan. Todo na. Eh unmute niyo na 'yan. Sige, mag-unmute na kayo. Okay? Todo na 'yang pagkakamustahan niyo ha. Sobra-sobra na 'yan ha. Sa susunod medyo iksian niyo 'yung kamustahan niyo ha. Para ano, masyadong tumatagal eh. <laughs> sige, okay. Okay. So, sige, God bless you all. Okay? Sige. So, po. stay safe and have a blessed Bye -bye po. week. Okay. God bless. Bye bye po. Good night po. God bless po. Ingat po. Bye po. Bye all. Nelly sa panel.